Welcome back to, or, yeah, 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 welcome back to Perfect Apocalypse. Like I was getting, I was getting mixed up, like, hey, it's a brand new series. No, it's, it's not. This is the last episode, though. I also gave myself a haircut, so now I got all this fancy short hair on my sides again. And my hair was getting a little bit too long. I got my, like, a new razor, specifically. Or, like, not, not, like, razor razor, you know, knife razor, but, you know, like a hair cutter kind of razor. And buzzed the sides of my hair. Shortened it because it is hot around here, man. It's so hot and I don't have air conditioning if I ever move from one cheap Dirty apartment to another it has to have air conditioning and a dishwasher preferably because um, I'm, I'm just sweating a lot without a fan on and I don't want to have the fan on because then it like you know causes noise and then it reduces mic quality and mic quality and voice quality is important to me um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, haircut. <laughs> I cut my hair. I'm saddened because I was trying to like grow some fluff, but it was also getting in the way. And I'm not gonna grow like you know grow a huge mop of hair on my head when like a heat waves during spring is happening. So, eh. anyways, in this episode we're gonna find the last deaths because we got like the good ending, the best ending. Um. I haven't gotten the worst ending. I want to. I want to see what happens there, and the rest of the deaths. Which, if I look at my achievements, there's just uh, honestly, I think there's just like four or five deaths to go. So we're gonna do that, and also just to give like, of course, credit where credit is due. I'm gonna be using a guide on the Steam by the user Agnox. So thank you, Agnox, for the handy, handy guide of course so let's get into it and get the last deaths and uh read it out and see what happens i'm not gonna like spoil myself to know what happens besides the naming of the achievement i'm just gonna i just want to know how to get there because i mean i'm i don't i don't have a spreadsheet to let me know what i've missed and where to go so yeah. all right so we left the closet though i do not think we're actually gonna like get the key that's the one thing we're going to be avoiding is the key uh, and then we're just gonna see if we can get to patches. I think that's basically what I need to do. The library. Let's see if the th at least the conversation has changed at all because I don't have the key with me. Like maybe by grabbing the key, time had moved forward. I'm not sure. You want to walk in here and read free of judgment all the night weekly and starve to die. Because then he shows up and asks about probably eating books or not. Probably hasn't changed. That means Patches, excited to see someone who's actually alive. I'm alive and so are you, wow, we have so much in common. I heard we heard you talking and eating books. Yeah, same same here. So I'm gonna... Uh, read. Yes, surprises. And yes, he can come with me. And apparently just go to the bathroom, that's all I really had to do. Because I think before... Brownie shouldn't be dead because I haven't run into her. That was, I guess that was what I missed. Do you think the cat's in here? I suppose I have seen them drink out of toilets sometimes. And who can blame them? Water so nice and cool and clean. Not that I would know. I remember reading that before. Patches and question mark. Yeah, she's in here and she's giggling. Heh heh heh. Wait, did you hear that? Ha 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 ha. What's so funny? <laughs> the door in the bathroom stall busts open and hits Patches. Something clatters to the ground. Not a knife, is it? Ow. Ah, sorry, I just got excited. It's been a while since I've seen someone. The Corgi and Olive see that knife had clattered out of Patch's jacket. He reaches for it. Oh no you don't! The Corgi jumps for the knife! Just what the heck are you doing with that knife? Are you some kind of psychopath? Going around taking advantage of people during the dog damn apocalypse! You're so freaking anno- you're- you're so fucking annoying! I don't want to hear kids telling me, Lay Nick, and watch your language. They have it in the game. Patches rips the knife away from Corgi. Ah! Patches, what are you doing? Come on, Olive, forget any of this happened. Let's keep looking for that cat, huh? Ah, uh, I think maybe we could do get two deaths with this. Okay, let's save it here. On page nine, yes. Um, beg for mercy. Olive cowers on the floor. Please, Patches, don't hurt me. I'll help you find that kitty, but just put the knife away. Ugh, get off the floor, you disgusting mutt. 
On second thought, I don't think I want to go anywhere with you. You're just so pathetic. You should just die. Ah! Please, I'll do anything. Ha ha ha. Patches stabs all of... Again, and again... And again. Even after they've been long dead. After they've been long been dead. Dumped. Rip. Do I get a different death by hitting the other button? You grab the knife! All oh, scrambles to grab the knife! Aw, do I have to get rid of you too? Ah! Why? You were so nice! Oh, Olive, thank you. You're such a sweet little puppy. Even after being stabbed, you know, no one said I had to leave right away. I kinda want to see how nice you are after being skinned alive. Well, that's not good at all. Oh, man, we did get two deaths. Oh, I made Patches happy! Well, thank God for that! Oh, yeah, after, you know, I made Patches happy. Before or after he skinned me alive? I'm not sure. Alright, so I think for this one we need to go to the bathroom, check the stalls, have her come with us when we go to the library. But I don't think we have Patches follow us. I think I've read everything here too, so I don't think I need to read anything here. Patches, because this is the f like the first time. I don't think I need to read any of this. Just burner. And then we go to the cafeteria, and that's it. That's it, apparently. Awesome, it's all unlocked and everything's here. If we don't find any chocolate, we can still snack ourselves into a coma. Yay, I'll start searching right after I have some of those bacon treats. The two dig around munching occasionally. Oh my dog, here it is. Brownie presents a dark chocolate bar. I heard dark chocolate is extra bad for you. Wow. Hey, is death by chocolate painful? Who cares? Okay, this is the same thing. Hey now, wait a sec- wait just a second. Ah! You! Patches, you're okay. Sorry for scaring you two. Oh, it's just that I heard that you, you wanted to end your lives and I felt bad for letting you go without saying anything. We should at least have some fun before you leave. Fun? Yes, fun. I knew you were a creep. Brownie rushes to eat all the chocolate. Brownie? I'd rather die by chocolate than by this freak. Aw, how cute. It's going to take a bit of time for the chocolate to kick in. At least enough time for us to play. Patches stabs Brownie. Ag. I mean, he could, I guess, run. I mean, he's, he's just a Dalmatian, like, what... I mean, like, I mean, technically, if, she, if she's a Corgi, I wouldn't presume running speed, I guess, is in her A game. And Corgis do have stubby, stubby little legs. No, stop. Ha ha ha. You know, Olive, it might be hard to, hard to believe, but I'm not very good at this. I didn't even hit an artery. At this rate, she'll bleed out slowly and die a long and painful death. But if you help me, maybe we, she won't. No, no, no. Alva grabs a cafeteria fork, they wield it shakily. And what are you going to do with that? It won't save her life, you know. You're going to die here either way, if not by me, then by starvation or to the demons. I'll die here too, but think of how happy you'd make me if... You just... Fought... Harder. Mm. A little gruesome. Ah, sugar craving. Right. Sugar craving death. Alright, so supposedly... For this next death that I haven't achieved yet, it sounds very eerily similar to things I already did, but apparently didn't do. But he's gonna check the stalls, deliver the eulogy, doing good, help. Now we go to the gym. Help. I've already read all that for anyone that's maybe gonna be like, Nico, why don't you read it? Same thing, we've already read it. I've already read it. Uh, to the basement. And this will be how we do it. Show those pipes who's boss. Open the basement door. And the basement, water, upstairs. Hmm. Yes, they disappear in a bright light. Then we have to... Hmm. To fight them. Do I have to go into the classroom? I have to figure this out, I guess. I've already done that. Ah, yes, yeah, we need to go to the classroom. 
without patches then getting in our way. Because usually, I guess what I've always done in all my playthroughs, and which is why I didn't get this death, is I always also go to see patches. Um, in this, I don't have patches following us, so we actually get something different. Let's see. Mmm, upper paw. Look for the murderer. Same thing. Same. Oh, here we go. Hello, puppy. I think they mistook him for a dog. Hello, puppy. Like the cartoon character? Yeah, we don't know who Patches is because we've never heard him say it once. The ghost cat chimes in. No, like a greeting to lower your guard. You're him, aren't you? I think I'm remembering his name. Patches. Patches? No, 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 you got it all wrong. I'm Sparky. <laughs> you have that deep voice that sounds so familiar. Oh, my dog, did we find him? Angel, I'm so happy for you. What? Look, I've never seen you in my entire life, and I'd never kill anyone. I'm truly sorry about what happened to you, but you gotta believe me. We can help you find the real killer. Finally, it's over. Angel unhinges his jaw. Eh. Okay, well, we'll save, because this might link to the second death I haven't gotten then. Fight for this one. All of pushes Sparky out of the way. You can't hurt him. They punch Angel. How can you... How can you punch a ghost? Well, oh, but their paw flies straight through him. I heard a thud, though. I guess that was maybe Sparky just fucking collapsing on the ground, like... Just smashing against a wall or something like that. But their paw flies straight through them. They can't seem to put the, pull their fist back. Olive's arm is shredded by Angel's teeth and claws. Ah! Olive falls to the floor. Olive, you absolute idiots! Only one of you had to die, but now you all have to. Hag. Angel takes a massive bite out of Brownie. Sparky readies his hockey stick in defense. Oh. Before he can make a move, Coco blasts him with her wand. Damn. We did it! Finally, I can rest in peace! I'm so happy for you, Angel. The siblings rejoice! As far as they know, this loss was true justice. But the true killer still roams free. Paw and order. Rip. Alright, let's go to the see what happens. Talk. Please, Angel, don't hurt him. I care about Sparky a lot. The way your sister must care about you. I'd be really sad if he weren't he around anymore. I just met him. I don't think he was the one who killed you. Just give us a chance to prove it. Angel, what are you waiting for? You don't understand, do you? If I killed your friend, wouldn't you want to kill me? Well, I don't think so. Someone hurt you really badly and probably felt awful. Awful enough to hurt even more. I think I just wonder what cut what I could have done to stop all this. No one here deserves to die. The black cat sighs. She waves her wand and traps Brownie and Sparky in magic chains. What? What are you doing? Consider this a favor. I never work with dogs, but I'm making an exception here just because you seem nice. I'm keeping these two here as an incentive for you to do a good job. If you don't find patches, or you die before you can, I'm killing these two. Yeah, this is familiar. I'll go with, uh, Olive. I want to go with Olive. What's Patches got going to do? Kill me? Hmm. Alright, with Spark, just Sparky on our team. It's like, for this, apparently we had to go to... Get the key, go to the library. Don't... Don't go with Patches, then come to the gym. Help him. Help help Sparky, I'm trying to remember names still. <laughs> and then go to the basement, everything should be the same thing. And then open basement door. Nothing really changes, they just leave the classroom. Then we go to the classroom. I think someone's following us, yeah, without... So Sparky picks up that someone's following rather than Brownie. I'm pretty sure it's another survivor. Ghosts don't really have footsteps. Sounds like a stand-up guy. <laughs> Let's ask him to join us. Now we save here. Yeah, 100%. For this, we had to... Uh, what was it? Disagree, I think? Uh, no. I don't know. I think I hurt his feelings. Maybe that's why he's too shy to come talk to us. Oh, well, some people need time to process their feelings. I'm sure he'll come around. How about we let him follow us and make our way to the classroom? Yeah. Go to the classroom. The footsteps get louder and louder. Someone's behind them. 
Patches, you finally decided to join us. I decided I'm sick of waiting for you to come talk to me. Damn it, Olive Run. Patches? Uh, what was it? Run or fight? Probably fight. Yeah. We can beat him if we work together. Olive, don't. Patches attacks Sparky in a frenzy. Ag. Everyone who dies in this game goes, ah, or ag. No. Olive runs and jumps on Patches' back. They bite him. Ah, is that it? He throws them across the hallway. Oh, boy, are you going to pay for that? Patches calmly walks over and grabs him by the collar. First you reject me, then you replace me with this meathead. And to top it all off, you have the audacity to bite me? You're lucky I'm so generous that I'd end your life so swiftly. The same can't be said for Sparky, though. Nice dogs finish last. Ha 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 ha. But with that now, we just have two more things to do. I'm going to die after making everyone sad and then play through the secret scene that exists. So, uh, let's do, uh, yeah, make everyone sad. Alright, so I think I'm finally getting everyone upset. Like, I messed it up I probably just a little bit. Even though I, I think I was on the brink of getting everyone upset, but I messed up on some one, like, just one problem. And I don't know where, I can't remember, but either way. Uh, yes, I agree to be your boyfriend. Everything else I've already read. Olive, fine. Haha, <laughs> so quick to betray your friend, how disgusting. I guess this is our final goodbye, Angel. I'll admit you were fun to have around. <laughs> what? Angel? What are you doing? Stop. Hi, Olive. Did you... Let's see how this changes. I took from what took from me. Oh. Oh, well. They fall to pieces. With all dead, the fate of Brownie and Sparky is uncertain. In spite of their help in finding Angel's killer, their momentary betrayals has left him with yet another bad impression of dogs. Ooh, imperfect apocalypse. There we go. I made everyone sad. Anne has a different background. I'm, I don't know, I'm in hell? I, but even though I'm an angel? Hmm. Well, I, I don't know. I think that's hell at least, or it's just dead bodies Surrounded by dog chow, maybe. Eh, man, it was one last thing to do. Then we move on to the second game. Alright. So I think for the Inferno thing, it's again something I should have gotten. I swear, like, in my last video I made everyone happy. But someone, I, th I can't remember who, but I'm guessing maybe Patches wasn't at a perfect two hearts or whatever. So I'm gonna see him. The uh, Inferno, the last achievement of Get the Secret Scene, I just didn't get I must have like messed up just by one slight thing for both upsetting everyone and making everyone happy maybe because I didn't get the achievement after all so I'm kind of curious what the secret scene is all I have to do is uh, not agree to be their boyfriend never now everyone is so I swear it was like just Coco that was at one heart hmm Thank you for your help. Mm -hmm. With milkshakes. You survived. Yeah, Brownie's happy. Sparky's happy. Trash is happy. Angel happy. What? I made Coco happy. Hmm. Mm hmm. That's. You made everyone happy. Secret scene unlocked. Oh, secret! A thousand souls fill the fiery void with murmuring, crying, barking. Some are angry, some in pain. Most are just confused. One dog stands at the edge of the crowd. I can't believe that I died on the toilet. Ah, of all places, I'll never live this down. Or, or die it down? The dog sighs. Why did they have to send us here? I could try and bring everyone back, but 
Won't they just laugh at me, point at me, and call me a freak? Perhaps I should just leave them here, and while I'm at it, stay here myself. Inferno is a fitting place for me now that I think about it. The bloodhound sits in silence. She absentmindedly raises a paw, and opens a small portal through which she can see Hachiko High, sc uh, Hachiko High left in complete disarray. I do wonder what everyone is up to, though. That makes two of us. Hello, my dear puppy. My name's Patches. I think we might be able to help each other. Oh, he's not gone for good, huh? You'll make a comeback, even though Angel has his real body. Hmm. All right, well, that preps up for Inferno, then. The second game. But I guess I'll have to go right to that, because uh, there's a lot more people who both, one, really like the series and game, and two, I wasn't expecting uh, people to show such interest via my own channel, because I don't know if the people who watched Changed are the same people who are watching this series, or vice versa, or if people who just loved this game just simply found my channel because I started playing this. I don't know. Huh? You could let me know in the comments below if you've been a frequent watcher or not, or if you're new to the channel, or like new to the channel because of this series. Let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious. By the way, I hope you enjoyed the first game. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time.